What you guys got another video here for you on how to clear temporary files automatically in Windows 10. Now I get asked this question quite a lot and this was a requested video on how to remove temporary files using a batch file on startup. So I thought I'd add a few extra things in here and make one video so you can get a general idea of how to remove all the old junk files from your computer. So let's open up a folder here and create a text document. So I'm just going to put text document here just like so. Now we're going to open this up and this will give us a blank text document. I'm going to paste in some code here. This code will delete temporary internet files, temp files and other recent activity and loads of other bits and pieces from the computer on startup when I set this up. So let's put in here PC dash cleanup, something like that dot bat. We need to put dot bat here because it's a batch file and then change the text document to all files and click OK. We can close these off now and you should now see a text document which we don't need anymore. And this is our batch file. We've just created it. I'll leave all the code in the video description for you so you can use that code and create your own batch files just like this one. Now to get this to work on startup, we need to create a shortcut. So right click on it and go to send to and then desktop. And we're going to send this, uh, create a desktop shortcut for this particular batch file. Okay. And once we've got that done, we can now head over to our desktop and we'll look at our uh, shortcut that we just created. So this is the file right here. And we're going to right click on here and go properties on this file. And inside here, what we need to do is go to advanced here. It's on the shortcut tab. So go advanced and you should now see run as administrator. Click the tick in there and click apply and OK. And now we can cut this uh, shortcut here and put it into the startup folder on Windows 10 or any other version of Windows. So let's cut this file. So right click and cut, then go down to the start button here and right click on the start button and go run. Now we need to put in here shell colon startup and click OK. This will take us to the startup folder. We can right click and paste that shortcut inside that folder here. Now when we reboot our PC, this will automatically run as administrator and start cleaning out all the temporary files on boot up. So here we are, I've rebooted the system and the script is now running on startup and basically it's gonna remove a bunch of different files. Now the downsides of running scripts on a computer at startup is the UAC. If Windows 10 has user account control settings set up, which means on boot up, it's gonna ask for uh, permission to run and that is the downfall side of UAC with a script method like this that's why I wouldn't advise you to use scripts on startup like this because you will need to say yes to the user account control and uh, if you disable it it will run which I wouldn't advise you to disable UAC in the first place there is other options available which are programs like Bleachbit and other programs out there which you can use that clean uh, your files on startup or even on shutdown, depending on which way you want to set it up. You can even set up a uh, task uh, schedule for uh, running these programs to clean certain uh, types of files on the PC at certain times of the day and certain weeks and certain months. You can set all that out and you can also do that on Windows as well. This is probably my go to program for cleaning off junk off the PC nowadays. Bleachbit is a pretty good program. And uh, you can set it up to be as aggressive or as lenient as you like, uh, i.e., uh, you know, scrubbing the files and get rid of them that way. If you want shredding folders, it depends on how aggressive you want to go with that. And you can do that with a lot of other programs as well. Uh, really, you just want to clean the files off. You shouldn't have to do uh, all the other stuff like shredding and wiping free space and all that. It's just a really long winded way of cleaning your PC. And it's just basically going to take quite a long time because it needs to do a certain amount of overwrites on those files to delete them. Now, Windows does have a built-in program as well, which I've covered. I just want to show you this quickly just to make sure you understand what this is. It's called storage in the storage area here. You can basically set this up storage sense and turn this on and configure it to your needs. It will control uh, what sort of data is removed and you can set this up how you like. It's very similar to a lot of other cleaning programs. It will just clean off any temporary files, any sort of rubbish on the PC. It is limited a little bit, but again, it's built into Windows, so you don't have to install anything if you want to set this up. You just need to configure it, turn it on, 
and set up a schedule for when you want it to run, whether it's weekly, daily, uh, monthly, whatever it is you want to set this up as, and it will remove all the temporary files, any sort of windows, the old folders, it will remove those as well. And I think you can even uh, add in a few extra folders in here as well, if you want to clean those and exclude folders from here as well. And that is the built in uh, app for uh, Windows 10 and it's a Windows 10 uh, storage sense. Now there is also a cleanup program which is built into Windows which has been around forever and again this is just a basic cleaning tool which you can use and it will clean off any sort of files on the system that you don't need like temporary internet files and other recycle bin temp files and other stuff like that as well and you can run this silently from the command prompt if you want to or running it from a script but basically it does a pretty good job and there's no need to really download any sort of software to do this particular type of task. It depends on how far you want to go with this sort of thing. Uh, there's uh, some real complex scripts out there and there's also some other ways of doing things as well. Choose which one suits you. I just want to say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. Also, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I want to wish everyone a happy new year and I shall see you again real soon. Bye for now.